Hello everyone, welcome back. This is SPM and Jay here, bringing out with our first Minecraft tutorial, and on our whole entire server. I meant, wait, server? You mean YouTube channel? Yeah, Sean, you're not awake yet. So our first tutorial today is uh, going to be uh, Minecraft servers, setting up your first Minecraft server, because I know. I had really difficult time, and of course my thing is acting up. Yeah, but you can connect. Wait, what? Oh. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm starting a cool faction server. My computer is not awake yet. I'm not awake. My computer's not awake. It's running too much stuff. Yeah. You see, I'm working on my server right now. It's cool. You like my name? I do like my name. I, yeah, I'm working on it. So, yeah. So, uh, there's gonna be three sections to this. Uh, one's gonna be where, um, first section is gonna be um us downloading a Splock server because that's also really difficult to do. And our second is um setting up all the setting up the config files for well technically there's only two parts and the second part is going to be um us us doing networking and making it so it's available available uh, to everyone yeah so i hope you enjoyed today's thing make sure you slap that like button and this helped you because it was really difficult for me to set up this server. Remember our friends for new YouTube uploads, you know. Yeah. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're back to at my start screen. I don't know why this is showing up. Uh whatever. It's there we go. Okay, so first you want to pull up Google. Uh, I'm using my guest account because I really don't want you guys to know what my email is. Yeah. Okay, so first thing is we are going to um, go to www. Let's just Google it. Blah. Oh my god. Computer, why are you so slow? Wake up already. My computer is not awake today. Block. Oh, wait, no, speak. Speak. Yeah. There we go. I forgot how to spell there. And once you have a really slow computer, which you don't want, and I suck, it's gonna check to see I'm not DDoSing. Well, I wouldn't because I love this server. So, then what you wanna do is you wanna go to. What are you doing? Get out of my room. I'm recording now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, Caroline. Go away. Nobody cares about your cast. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Once you have your door locked, so you don't have anyone else bothering you. You want to go to, um, well, you can go to Wiki, and then it'll tell you how to get this block. So, um, so you click, you go to this page if you need help. Um, it helps you with Windows. So you gotta get Java, and and then you have to go to Build Tools because. Since this whole entire thing with Bucket, and they're gonna be shut down, and so we have to get um, Bucket, which is um, well. You also have to get this program called Glit, and Glit, what that would do is you download that to run Build Tools, which is really weird. Yeah, I don't get this. Why do you do this? Why does everything have to be look like Linux? 
yeah, we don't. I don't like this. This is too hard to understand. And so then you download build tools right here, um, and you're gonna watch it, but it won't really matter because I really don't. And then we well, have to run this code right here, and you have to run that in the glit. So let me show you how you do that right now. So we we got the thing downloaded. It shouldn't be in your downloads file. Let me just pull it up right here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Slow computer. Okay, it should be under downloads. And it's going to be right here. Well, actually, the code, the build tools. So. Um, it's going to be right here. And then what you got to do is I suggest you make a dot bat file. So the way you do that is you copy down this code into a notepad file and then you do file save as build tools dot bat. If you do not have the bat, it won't work. So then, once you have that downloaded, you run the command uh, thing, which you placed, you just made. So, you also have to have that thing, that glit thing installed, or else it will not work. Like, it would break. So, yeah, um, downloads. And then, so once you get that done, so we have it right here, and then we run that batch file. And then it's gonna you have to have Java 32 version because then it will not it would work and then you kind of have to wait for a couple like minutes or hours how long it depends how long how slow your computer is either way a little while so I'm gonna just wait for right here for when this is done and then it'll be finished when you're done so I'll be right back all right, so when that thing is done, you should have in your download folder. Uh, let me just pull that up right now. Uh, downloads. You should have this thing called Splock. It's Spigot, whatever it is. And then, well, what you gotta do is you gotta come to Splock Server, Target, and then you have to run either one of these. You see, I didn't update nine because I'm stupid. And I gotta do that. You should do that once an update comes up. But I, I feel too lazy to wait for a really long time. And so, then what you gotta do? Then what you gotta do is you gotta uh, make a file on your computer. I made a server in my documents file, and you're gonna get all of this. But what you gotta do is first you drag the original uh, spot this thing I, I dragged the original one and then you have to make this thing which is the start that batch file so if we we can look at the code right now which is java ea accent five uh, blah, blah blah i don't understand this uh but you have to change it says it's gonna say splack so but you know we don't have a splack jar that's where everything gets messed up so what you gotta do is you gotta uh, hit the rename button and then on your computer hit control C then you have to delete everything that's in this spot before the dot before that space and before the dot and then you just gotta hit uh, backspace and then control V and then you'll have the right one and then so then you hit save and then well no you actually you do save as like before and you gotta make it uh, dot B A T or else it will not work. And then you s it will say that you gotta accept the UL. So then you close that down and change this to true. Because before this was false. And then you gotta change it to true. And so that you agree to Mojang's thing that they can say shut down your server if you do anything bad. So then no, don't say because I didn't really change. 
And now you get all of this. Well, you don't get everything. Okay, so now we're going to go into the server.properties file. This is where everything is going to get complicated. So we open this up, um, close everything on because we don't need that now. And then you just going to go in. If you really need help on understand what all of these uh, things are, um, you can look it up on the Minecraft Wiki. Um, just type in server prop server dot properties in Google or something, and it'll come up. And so the spawn protection is like how many blocks generator? I don't even know what that is. Force game mode allows whenever you join in the server. Um, I say um a lot. If you haven't realized, um 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 um, and so. Then you go to generator settings, uh, whatever. So the only thing you want to make sure you want to have right now, you can change some of this later, but do not change this, this the server port right here, or you have to leave this blank. Whatever you do, leave this blank. Just trust me right now. And now we're gonna get into the networking networking part of the server. Um. Yeah, so the networking part of the server. So, if you really want to learn networking, then uh, I'm not the good person because I, 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 it took me a week to do this. So, let's be right back. You can pause the video now if you need. If you you can look up a different video on how to do a hamachi, but I don't trust that stuff. So, yeah. Let's do port forwarding crap. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna get port forwarding. You should have the server run once. You gotta run it once. And the first thing you gotta do is you can't close that down. And then, then what you gotta do is that you go to... Well, actually, let's not do this. We're gonna ask Cortana to uh, open CMD. So just go into Cortana, where you're searching thing, and type CMD. And then you type in IP config that's all. And this is gonna show all the information that we do not understand, but nerds do. But also nerds are pretty cool. So once you hit enter, it's gonna show us all of this thing, which makes no entire sense. And so I'm gonna like block all of this till we get into the good part okay so then um then you copy down this ip4 address right here well actually you can copy the default gateway which is this number right here if you're confused what this is this is the ip6 address so copy down this number, 192.168.1. So you can hit mark and do control C and that will copy it. And then what you gotta do is you gotta hit not that, or you can just remember and type it in one do that one, that one. And so that would bring you to the thing. So mine is a smart Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna log in right now and Oh, dang it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so then when you log into your router, uh, you're going to figure out all this information, which is really mad. And you're probably never going to figure out what my guest Patrick is because it's just a guest network. I, it's not like I leave it on. And so, so then uh, you're going to go down to security. But actually, what you gotta do right now is, how about you ask your mom and dad to see what kind of modem do you have. To figure out what your modem is, you're gonna go back into the command prompt and see where, um, well actually you're gonna go to your router. If you don't wanna know what your router is, Here's a picture right now, and so that, um, and so, 
What you got? Okay, so apparently it's not in this. And so, what you gotta do is I know that I have a modem from Contest. It looks like a square box. And if you just Google Comcast modems, like if you know what your service provider is, and then they give you something that's a black box or something. It's not even a box. It looks like a rain tangle. But there's a picture right now what my modem looks like. And then what you gotta do is you gotta log in. So 10. Dead zero, dead zero, dead one. If you need help with any of this, you can go to port. Uh, just look up port forwarding dot com, and you can get free help port forwarding stuff. Like that's how I followed it, but it's also really confusing. Okay, so. Um, what you gotta do now is you gotta log into your username. So it's add. My username was never changed, so you guys are vulnerable to this. And so it, it tells you on the default. And then I just log in like that. And then I know that it says my computer is this, but no, it's actually the router. This is what my router name is. It's confusing. And so. Actually, what you go down here is you have if you're running a modem and a computer together like if, if you're running on your modem it's a this is a motor and a rounder and so you can do that but if you have this you want to first cop uh, use the port minecraft TCP that UDP so if you can see right now Minecraft TCP that UDP and the server IP4 address to find out where your site server IP4 address well I know how to figure out on the smart Wi-Fi because it says it right under troubleshooting and then diagnostics and it says it right here and I can hit release and new but I don't know what that does but and then you have to copy down those two things because what actually happens is I'm gonna open up paint to draw you it's gonna probably be a, a, a bad drawing but what's gonna happen is you gotta I'm gonna draw it to you so we're gonna have this is the cloud right here yeah I'm a really bad drawer this is the cloud so And that can that connects to your this is how my setup is now uh, to a big little box and that's the ISP and that's the ISP so we name that internet service supplier that's what it means so my ISP is a Comcast of course because they have really good uh, they're my Wi-Fi is pretty good and so this is also a router so this connect to like to say my big huge computer I'm just gonna put a C right there but this also can connect to a router so let me just draw the router really quickly if you like my terrible drawing so then it connects to a router so I'm just gonna put the R and that connects to my computer separately so if we're trying we're trying to uh, think uh, we're trying to put the ISP right here so we need to port this trying to get uh, uh, Minecraft two five 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 six five and that's gonna try to bring it to the cloud the clouds requesting that so then this ISP thing's got to tell you oh wait since this computer is not running uh, the server that's what we're trying to do we have to make it so it comes over this way so then it tells this uh, it goes this way uh, two five five six 
alive. And then that tells the router, saying, you gotta pour for this to the computer, which is this one right here. So that one. And so then you do two, five, five, six, five. And that brings you to the router, to the computer. And that's where the computer tells the server that someone joined the server. And so now, so we don't want to save this because it's terrible. So now, after you do that, we're port forwarding to this smart Wi-Fi right here. And then now, what we're gonna go, we're gonna go to our apps and gaming, and then port range porting. Because port range porting is better than single port forwarding, because these can do more ports. So like if you're running um bungee cord like how Mindplex does. It has a it does port range wording. And so uh it's doing Minecraft 25565 to my device IP. And that would equal true. And then so we hit apply right there. And that's basically all we have to do. Make sure this is enabled or else it won't work. Okay, so then what you gotta wait before you go back let's go back to the thing sorry i accidentally closed that out if your thing has a security on it but i suggest if you know what you're doing um we can go to the fire right now i have my firewall disabled so you can see i have my disable because i really have my own firewall right here and this connects to all my devices so I really don't need the firewall here. I need the firewall here. And so this and so I disabled for both of these. So if you have a router and you never use your modem router, uh, I would suggest disabling it because it might screw up everything. But um, it's also okay too to have it. So I used to have it before it was fine. So. If, if only nothing, uh, your server is corrupting, I would say disable this one. Because it might disable the Okay, so now, we can close this out. Um, close this out. We're all done with port forwarding stuff. And so, uh, on the command prompt, you can see, um, I have to, you can see that, um, when I type in IP config slash all, this is when, um, if you had, um, a dynamic IP, so like the IP changes, you're gonna see when the IP was first attained, so Thursday, August 6th, 2015, which was 9.29, and then it will change Friday, August 7th, so if you wanna re remind yourself that the check, again, you can set it up on your phone or something, or even use Cortana. So now what you gotta do is you gotta go to Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. This is a really where everyone gets stuck. Because I got stuck here so long. And so now you pull up your Windows Fire Security. Um you're gonna put it let's make it so we're gonna go to inbound rules. Because outbound rules, there's no in uh really so we're gonna add a new rule, well, called a port rule. And so that will allow us to um, uh, make the port 25565, because then it would choose TCP. We're gonna have to do it for both. So, and then what you gotta do is you gotta allow it and allow it for all three of these. And so, and then you can give it to main Minecraft TCP. And then you guys do the same thing to Minecraft UDP. And so that would thing. Okay. And also, what you gotta do is you see all these Java things right here. You gotta make sure all of these have no X's, like this mirror off things. You gotta make sure they have all check marks. And the only the way you change that, you can you can this. You can hit properties, uh, program and no, 
protocols, uh, you go to local print, uh, this is so hard to find. Okay, so you go to general, and then you click allow the connection and apply. And so you make all these enabled. And then, if we want to, we can find the one that has Minecraft involved in it. So, you just hold it right here. See, this is Minecraft runtime. Um, is there any other Minecraft? So this is Minecraft. Oh, this is awesome. So if you want to, you can make these uh, off. So I do programs and services. No, actually, bands. And then you click all these things, both all three. And then you click apply, and you do it to both Minecraft ones. So you can see how it has all next to it to the name. Okay, also, what you might want to do is, if we open Network and Sharing Center, uh, by right-clicking the Wi-Fi app on your thing, you can see how, you might say it's a private, public network. If it says a private network, you're good. So, the way you set up your private network is you say, um, you got open home groups, because that's how I did it. And then I say create a homework. And then it's going to ask you to, if you want to, do you want to make your network private? You can hit yes. Because I, it allows us to do it. Allows us to do more things on our network because it thinks we trust the network. And so after all else is working, you can check to see your network is port forwarded. So you can download this network utilities app that is right here and then if you click on that you want to click trial and, and it's going to detect your IP and it's going to bring up this thing right here and we're going to go to port checker and it's going to ask you the, if it's free or not and then we're going to port forward Minecraft 25565 and then I'm gonna click check me check me and then if he says it's open you did everything right and you're fine and it's gonna tell you this you're gonna it's gonna tell you the address to give you your friends because you're gonna use this address right here for Minecraft for you right now so we're gonna pull up our servers so we got a start server circuit from earlier uh, and our server right here and our start server right there and you just want to click on it your start server thing it's gonna run, run everything so it's gonna load the libraries from thing and once we get once it's done loading it's gonna start the server Okay, if you start seeing all the code, see it's it says you see all this, it means your server is running. And as soon as it's finished, um it's gonna say um done. And now if you wanna try to connect to your server, um you click you open Minecraft of course. So we gotta wait for Minecraft to open. Do 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 Okay, Caroline, please get out. To annoy your sister, just play the Jeopardy music. Okay, so now we're gonna go go into Minecraft. You see the server's running right there, and then you're gonna use this IP right here. 
but remember that IP from the port for connecting utility? If you totally forgot about that, just in Google, um, you want to make sure you type in what is my IP and then and then you do this give this IP to your friends I mean like I'm not showing it right now because my server is not available right now but I want to give you my IP Yeah, and that's all basically. Um, you can see my server works. Your friends can join it. One of my friends is on because they're all lonely butts. So, yeah, and you see my server works perfectly fine. It runs really well too, and has okay signal. And you can add all the plug plugins right then. If you wanna, you gotta start, stop your server, stop your server, and, and where you gotta go to is you gotta open your server files, press A, close that, and then you can drop all your plugins right in here. And also, you can do a restart thing, and if you wanna do that, you gotta go into splat, spigot, whatever it is, the word, file, and then you see the restart script. You want to open your thing, and you see where this is. You got to hit the drop down menu. Hit that backwards. Oh, wait, go back. You got to hit that backwards slash. So you're going to hit that backwards slash and start. And that would run it. So you, then you want to you wanna open that. Hit copy. And then we're gonna close this. It's gonna start. And then you just gotta hide, put it right there. And it will work. And then it will work. And then you can change any of these settings for you want. Cause yeah. And that's about all there is to this tutorial. I hope it helps you a lot because if this was available to me, it would work really well for me. And I would like to thank you for all. Uh, no, my sister. I'd like to thank you for all the things you guys have been doing for us. I hope to make sure you subscribe because it's really, it helps me a lot and it teaches you guys that I'm trying my best. And so, hope you enjoy. Make sure that subscribe button that helped you. If there's anything else, if you need any questions, just ask me or ask someone else. I asked the Minecraft forums. They didn't really help me well, but uh, I figured it out soon. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos. Uh, tutorials, whatever you want, you should suggest it in the comments. I love you all. Goodbye. After music starts now.